Hello and welcome to pmplounge.com continuing our mini series on group creativity techniques today we are discussing document analysis and if you're wondering why is this uh, series unstoppable and uh, something which never ends i'd like to inform you that document analysis is typical is basically the last group creativity technique that is there as part of your pmp uh, courseware so Document analysis is the last group creativity technique that we are discussing here. Again, all the group creativity techniques that we have discussed till date, the entire playlist will be available in the description. So let's get started. But before that, let's try to understand where does group creativity techniques and document analysis fit in in the entire PMP, uh, PMP certification courseware. So this slide will be a repetition if you have already seen any of the previous videos of uh, the mini series on group creativity techniques you can feel free to skip this slide and go on to the next slide and learn about document analysis. Now where does document analysis fit in in the PMP courseware this is what we are discussing and scope management is the knowledge area so uh, there are many knowledge areas tend to be precise and scope management is the knowledge area where uh, document analysis fit in so where in scope management knowledge area so every knowledge area has several processes and collect requirements is the process in scope management knowledge area where we have group creativity techniques as one of the tools and techniques so one of the group creativity techniques is document analysis like i mentioned earlier the playlist of all other group creativity techniques will be available in the description below so check that out there are other tools and techniques as well of collect requirements process and they are interviews focus groups facilitated workshops group decision making techniques we have discussed them as well and the playlist of all those uh, videos that we have done on these different types of uh, group creativity techniques uh, the tools and techniques of uh, collect requirements process will be available in the description again there is one more playlist that you can check out which is all the videos that we have done on the scope management knowledge area that is also going to be of uh, utmost help if you are learning and studying the scope management knowledge area all right with that being said let's get into what document analysis basically is now the name gives it right the name gives it out document analysis let's take a theoretical um, understanding of it so theoretically document analysis involves reviewing the existing documentation of comparable business processes or systems in order to extract pieces of information that are relevant to the current project so I hope it's clear, right? You are basically reviewing the documentation which is existing in the system, right? And you are, and these documentation should be of comparable processes or systems, right? These cannot be random documentation pulled out of uh, anywhere, right? So once you have that kind of documentation, you can extract pieces of information from such documentation which are relevant to the current project and therefore should be considered in therefore should be considered as project requirements right so that is how you perform document analysis the very basis is that by analyzing the documents of previous project requirements for the next project can be unearthed right so when you are analyzing the documents of the previous projects you will be able to come up with requirements for your next project and again this is helpful because when you we discussed this in benchmarking as well right you want to make sure that your product is up to the standards your product is uh, basically delivers on the expectations of the users right so in order to do that uh, analyzing the documents of uh, past projects of not just your own organization but you if you can get your hands on uh, products of other organizations you can make use of them as well and analyze those documents to come up with the requirements for your own project which will be able to define the product of your project again how is this a group creativity technique then well basically you have 
documents like business case system requirements lessons learned and there could be other knowledge based system that is being used by a certain organization right so these things right these documents and uh, these kind of uh, materials can be used business case system requirements lessons learned and any knowledge base that the organization may have these can be referred to in the document analysis process and the different group members right so if you have smes from let's say if you have business analyst in the group where you are performing the group creativity technique business analysis a business analyst right if you have a business analyst in the group he will be the most suitable person to read and analyze the business case of another project he might not be as good in reading system requirements right for that you need engineers for that you need smes to be able to read and decode system requirements and come up with requirements for your own project so that is how it works and this is why it is a group creativity technique it is a group exercise and uh, the expectation is that when group uh, goes over such past documents they will be able to creatively come up with requirements for the next project so that's pretty much it that's all that we had in this video subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't done so already and check us out on our social media facebook.com slash pmp lounge and twitter.com slash pmp lounge and as always do check out the website pmp lounge.com your number one free resource for pmp certification and project management industry information Thank you.